Hey everybody, in this episode, I'm going to show you how to use the mirror button. It will take your work and cut it in half. So you only need to do 50% of your work, use that mirror tool, and you'll have 100% of it done. Okay, so when you're in Onshape, you're going to hit Create and Document. And we're going to call this Mirror, and please add your initials on it. Okay. We're going to get started uh, drawing on the front view. So I'm going to simply turn off the right view just so it's not a distraction. Click sketch, click front view, and I'm going to go to my front view so I can draw and grab a line and just draw a line straight up. And it's going to look like a backwards L. I want to make sure that like all of my lines are perpendicular and we have right angles everywhere. And when I go back to the origin, start at the origin, so you end up back at the origin, once you see this like light blue tint to it, you know that all of your corners are connected. Um, and so it means you have a solid object. Okay, before we go any further, we got a dimension. So let's dimension this at 0.5. Mention this at 0.75. Um, this height right here is also 0.5, and this width at the very top is also 0.5. Did it do it? No, oh, I got to double click on it and type it again. There we go. Go ahead and hit the green check. So we're done with that sketch. And I always like to go back to the isometric view when I extrude. Um, so now I click on that and I make that extrusion 0.75. Hit the green check mark because I'm done there. Uh, I'm going to click on the top and start a sketch right on the top. So I click sketch, I click the top face, I go to the top view, and, and by clicking the sketch um, and then the top view, you can see it kind of highlights, so it's kind of like projecting your geometry on there. Uh, I'm going to grab a point and hover over the middle, and all of a sudden it centers it, and if I slowly go down, it should find the center. Let's see if I go to the left and then over to the right. There it goes. So I grab the point, I put a point in the middle so that I can grab a circle, and that was my reference to the center. And just draw a circle, and when you grab your dimension tool, you can make this circle 0.375. Hit enter on the keyboard. And the green check mark again. I'm going to go back to isometric. It's slightly blocked, so I'm going to spin it around. And now hit the extrude again. Click on the circle we just drew, and I'm going to hit remove, and I'm going to make sure it is through all. Cool. Next thing I'm going to use is this fillet tool. Fillet tool, if I click on this edge and this edge, it curves it off for us, and we're going to make that 0.25 of a curve there. And you can see, nice and round here. Okay. So I think we've done most of this, if not all of this, in a previous assignment. But this is where life gets super easy. This button right here is your mirror tool. So we've done 50% of the part. But watch this. If I hit mirror tool and I click on what we've just made, we want that entire part to mirror. I'm going to click mirror plane off of this back end. All of a sudden... We've got 100% of it done. I, I did hit that green checkbox, so we know that we're done. And we're done. Under five minutes, you made a part. You only did about 50% of the work. You hit the mirror tool, which added the next 50% of the work. So things that are very symmetrical, now life is easy. Okay, make sure that you turn your work in properly and you have your initials on the back end. Thanks for watching.